Today on Tasting Like a Boss, we take one of the easiest breakfasts that people eat and deconstruct it so you can experience it like a boss. We give you the typical bowl of cereal. Now, everyone's had this. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's very efficient. Bowl, flakes, spoon, milk. But yeah, it is simple. It is efficient. But you know what else is? McDonald's, Burger King. So what we suggest to you is obviously not going to be what you have every day. But this is maybe on a Saturday when you want to splurge for your family or just for yourself. So let's just take it all away and start from the ground up. Let's take away the spoon, the bowl, the flakes, the milk, and go forward with tasting like a boss. Now, the first step you're going to want to do is address the vessel itself. Typically, we use a bowl when we have cereal. You don't have to. What I would suggest you utilize is actually a saucer plate. Now, it seems weird at first, but bear with us, okay? In our situation, we always like to chill the saucer plate. We use ceramic. You know, you want to give it a nice chill, maybe 30 minutes in the refrigerator. That's probably enough for you. It's really, really going to enhance the, uh, the experience, if you will. So that's what we go with. Uh, again, saucer plate, made for the saucer, but it's perfect for our purposes. Next, the cereal. Well, don't just pour it on there. You don't want to just pour your flakes on here. You want to get the perfect flakes. So I've taken the liberty of pouring some on a plate to show you what I mean. Look, you've got pieces like this, perfect little flakes, but then you have other ones. They're little chips and things like that. And, and quite frankly, if you're having a bowl of cereal with little tiny flakes, it's not that big of a deal. And you might say, well, it doesn't matter, but it does, doesn't it? Think about when you have a bag of chips, you're at the bottom of the bag of chips and you got the crumbs. Sure, you're gonna eat them, yeah, they're fine, but don't lie to yourself and make it seem as if it's as good as when you open up a bag of chips for the first time and you can pick the perfectly formed chips. We all know we do that. You see a broken chip next to a full chip, you're going to grab the full chip, right? So what we do is we go through, pour them out, pick the proper chips. Okay, now, I again have taken the liberty to put together a bowl of perfect little chips, uh, at least in my view. Now, you can use flakes, you can use uh, uh, Captain Crunch, you can use Cheerios, whatever. In my situation, where we are using flakes. Next, we got the milk. Now, we could just pour the milk on, but why would we do that? Now, some people might have the dexterity to be able to use the gallon jug. I don't. So I've taken a little step of putting some of the milk in a dispenser. Now, why? Well, let me show you. It's kind of special. This way you have perfect control in making sure that the proper amount of milk is placed on the saucer. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, you see, even then I got a little bit over there, but that's okay. So now we got the milk, we have our flakes. So what do we do? Use a spoon, doesn't make any sense. Use our fork, doesn't make sense. Use our fingers, that's barbaric. So what do I suggest? Well, I suggest utilizing Chopsticks. Very, very simple. Chopsticks. Reach in, grab a flake, dip in the milk, perfect portion control. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait, I'm a kind of person who likes to put some sugar on my cereal. What am I going to do? Well, yeah, you could sprinkle sugar on the flakes, but we don't want to do that. So, what have I done? Well, Honey is our answer. I happen to be using Capital B Company, raw holly honey. Very, very good from Savannah, Georgia. Put that there. And what I've done is I've dispensed it into a little container that we usually use for soy sauce. Actually helps with the chip control as well. So let's try a little taste and see what it's like. We take, oh, actually, I like to actually dip that. Here's a little trick. I like to dip the sticks in the honey first. So when they're sticky, plus not too much honey, just the proper amount. I go to my chip, I give it the proper dunk. Let's see. 
outrageous and perfect mixture of milk, sweetness, flake. Mm. Do this next Saturday, and I, I guarantee your family will be blown away. It'll be an experience that they will remember forever and will tell all their friends. So until next time, keep tasting like a boss.